streets, food, clothing, and shelter. The stories that I tell you, they ain't stories at all. I see the fires rise with this emperor's storm. May the Lord be our judge if I'm wrong. So with them, the evil who's without sin, cast the first stone. You'll be finding guilty, judge, I prove my innocence. And with God bless, let no one put a curse on. The wicked ones lurking, vultures circling. Wanna see the eye done off, say it's curtains. But I might have purpose, no fire, no purges. I'm working Jesus pieces, but I see what Jesus teaches. We got to do God boot God earlier, yeah. and we just been we just been vibing, and it drink responsible. <laughs> it never stops. It never stops. You know, landmarks twenty years, even older landmarks twenty five, thirty, forever. We like to build. We like to build forever and ever and ever. It does not stop. Hell man. So boom. I mean, I think 20 years of doing anything professional. Like if I could say I wrote for 20 years professionally, would the people respect me? Would they realize? It? Would they value my time? Would I value my time? That's the answer I'm looking for. That's a great question, man. If I was doing something for 20 years, would I value my time? I woke up this morning and I seen something on television today. And they were talking about um, people, they would do this Valentine's Day, right? Um, and they were talking about people who've been married for over 20 years. And I'm um, looking at this. The first couple I see is a black couple and they're two step and they book me. And I'm like, wow, that's dope. You know, so it made me smile. And the second couple was a white couple and they, you know, they, they, you know, they doing that, that ballroom dance. And I'm like, wow, this is fly. Like, wow. Like, I wonder what that's like. I wonder what that's like to be able to be doing something, how you say, for 20 years. Like, you married to this person for 20 years. Like, what is that like? Is that crazy? Is it, is it, um, hey, I guess to have accomplished it is the, is the fulfillment in itself. And it's more than any monetary thing, like, to be able to say, wow, am I still relevant to myself? Um, you ask yourself that anyway. Any feel, but this this place, yeah, absolutely. Like you've touched people, you know, through, through your words and your actions. So, 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 so. Yeah, you definitely have to give some type of consideration to that. Yeah, it's a fight, though. You know, it's a fight in real life. It's a fight. Talk about. I mean, you've got enough world experience that. I mean, growing up in the ghetto in New York City. You said that, man, you, you didn't realize how rich you actually were. Right. I mean, what did you see? I grew up in uh, Brownsville, um, Cephalo Projects. You know? um, at the time, I think Cephalo Projects was one of the last projects that was created in the Brownsville section. So it's like four buildings and, um, you know, projects. We already know what that kind of takes. It was a project something that was tried and um, you know it's, in Brownsville the ocean of Brownsville you have many different sections where you, know, you have um, project buildings and it happens happen to be one of the projects in many Brownsville Van Dyke Glenmore Tilden Howard um, Unity Unity Projects is in uh, East New York it's like right across the bridge like uh what we call like uh, the, the L train was the bridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and once you step across that L train, you're in Europe. Mm -hmm. So Unity Projects is like right there. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Like once you step out of Tilden South Side, you go across the way, across the bridge. Unity is right there. Mm -hmm. you know? 
do you think Unity had more than its fair share of like you know strife? Oh man, every project had a strife because we we didn't we didn't uh, you know. But Unity has had, more iron. Yeah, <laughs> right. How about that? It's called Unity, right? right? right. I mean, w one thing about Unity, I think Unity was an original uh, format. A, a, a project version of a cul-de-sac, mm. right? Mm. And you have right. people had a little bit of land at least, right? In the cul-de-sac, yeah, yeah a right? little bit of lawn space. In the projects in Unity, you have these buildings, and then inside the buildings, you have the yards where the kids play, mm. and the seatings, and so on and so forth. Mm. Um, that's kind of like a, a, a prison format. Mm -hmm. But you just can go out whenever you want to go out. <laughs> you know what I mean? uh, it's a free prison, like go and go and come. Away. But you know, it's not. You know, you might have some flowers and stuff like that, but then the the, 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 the value is not really seen because it's just like such. You know, it's just a form of like building, 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 building. building. Mm -hmm. Like we looking at this and we're sitting here. It's just repeated without any yeah. other identity. Right. So you sit there long enough, you start to realize, you start to feel like there's nothing for you. When you step outside of that, you see different designs, and you see um, different things that maybe you're not hearing, um, not experiencing. And I don't know, you can it, it create a monster or create a genius or wake up the genius, so to speak. Mm. Like for me being from Brownsville and then going to school in um, Manhattan, Mm-hmm. Mitch, I'm at. Right. I had to get on that train, so I had to look at people. And you get on that know. train? Get on that long L train. You going to Manhattan? The ill thing about Brooklyn, the ill thing about where I live in Brooklyn, is that I can take the L train, or I can take the L train straight, right, to the city, then jump on the next train, or I can take the, H, the L train, jump off at the junction, and take the A train straight. So it had many different routes yeah. so it automatically yeah. taught me how to travel or I, can t or I can walk through the projects and take the three train mm. um it taught me how you know the dynamics of the neighborhood that i was mm -hmm. in mm. you know mm. um and i and i didn't even realize that i was learning it was just like i need to get away from my 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 my, my block <laughs> you know just getting off that you were solo a lot of time on your troop um, would you would you you know who you mesh with that was? When I, when I, um, I would say like probably like a, um, junior high school, high school, junior high school to high school, I, I, I hung out with um, Sean Price and uh, my homie Noy, mm. man T. White. Mm. Um, these cats is from Brownsville Project. And just to show you the, the ill camaraderie, like I knew Sean Price before um, going to school. I knew him from in Brownsville. You, you go to different community centers and you meet kids and stuff. So we met through those types of things. What did y'all play at the community center? Y'all played games? Nah, we, um, man, our community center was ill. We went to the Heritage House, you know, mm -hmm. which is, um, it's just that. Like it's, it's a, a monumental spot in Brooklyn. We, we had an opportunity to go there. We did a lot of different things. They tried to teach us um, a lot of uh, history, cultural um, aspects, African, um, European, like everything they tried to, everything they could teach us on a cultural level. Like they just try to instill that into us. And they have give free lunch. Absolutely. What? They had free I lunch, but we we would go to um. Like they had school, we were surrounded by schools. We were surrounded by like 150, 393. Um, we was, you know, I hated free lunch though. Initially, I, I didn't realize how fly that was until later. Uh -huh. Until right, so we start paying for lunch, then it's like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah, but then, you know, when they, certain days, you was like, man, I'm going to free lunch, man. Like, yeah. I'm going to three free lunch. I'm going, <laughs> we gonna go, we gotta hurry up, cause we going to do a free lunch tour. They got beef patties. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? They got icy in the summertime. We're going to get that. Like, we survived off that. And those programs was dope. Because at those types, of, you also met people in the, in the, in the community. So. Sure, 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 sure. You know, and definitely nothing brings people together like icy in the summer. In the summertime, yeah, you yeah. already know. Yeah, icy clean. is like the magic. Swimming pool. Sugar water, man. Sugar water. Hopefully, sugar. Yeah. Hopefully, sugar. If you're lucky. <laughs> lucky now. <laughs>
internets, internets, internets.